as some expected, we won't mention any names here, um, <laughs> but uh, I don't think I was the only one. NASCAR banned Ross Chastain's so-called hail melon move that he used on the final lap last year at Martinsville Speedway to advance to the championship four. NASCAR said any violations deemed to compromise the safety of an event or otherwise pose a dangerous risk to the safety of competitors, officials, spectators, or others are treated with the highest degree of seriousness. Situations that fit in this category will be handled on a case-by-case basis. If any driver attempts the so-called hail melon, they'll be issued a time penalty for an unsafe action. Kobe, I don't think I need to explain how I feel about this, so I'll just hand it over to you. Were you also in the group of people who thought that this ban was inevitable and in a lot of ways needed to happen. Yeah, I was also in that group of people. I th- I, th- I think most of us were here here at Grid Network. If if you if you look at the the, the wrap up show for for that race at Martinsville, yeah, we talk, yeah we talked about how how cr- how crazy that move was. The uh, it, it it was the hell Miller heard around the world. Got got a lot of local attention here where, where I'm from. Got a lot of national attention across the country and even international. attention attention with outlets in other countries pick it picking up the hell melon and, and and what many described as a video game like move it, i had a feeling that it would just be a one-time thing what was some, something so crazy <laughs> that you could appreciate just one time and it's and it looks like the hell melon is just going to be a a, a, one, a one and done situation but while it, while it might have been really cool to see at the time we also talked about the safety concerns like what it got like into the crossover gate right there, you know, and then something really, really bad could happen. So, so I, I support NASCAR making this rule change, you know, to, to prevent a potentially dangerous situation for the drivers and the, and the spectators and those in the stands alike. And I'll leave it at that because I know somebody who wants to take a victory lap. This is the second greatest day in grid network history. As far as I'm concerned, number one was Saturday. Uh, great job on the Rolex 24 pre-race show. Again, uh, everybody involved with that. You no, know, I know Kobe, you were, Uh, part of that team Uh, that was a great day for us but this is a great day for me this is as far as I'm concerned the biggest W I've ever had in my young uh, motorsports media career but listen I I, I reposted that clip from the wrap-up show on my own channel Kobe as I I usually do for some of the highlights just to try to get the word out there as to what we're doing here at Grid and uh, this one picked up some steam it got dislike bombed I got comments from people saying you know I've, I've been a fan for 40 years they've been riding the guardrail at Darlington for my entire lifetime and you're a idiot, and they use the wrong "you" as well. Um, you know, so how do you like that? But I, I got to tell you guys, I think David Land was actually one of the ones that put this perfectly. You can acknowledge that this was one of the greatest things we've ever seen. It put NASCAR into mainstream recognition. It was a number one play on Sports Center's top ten. It was an, a fantastic think outside the box move that saved Ross Chastain's season and nearly won him a championship. I was expecting him to come around the final corner of Phoenix on Joey Logano and do it again. I mean, he was right there, you, you know, I mean, and that would not have happened had he not done this. We can acknowledge all of that and also acknowledge that it can never happen again. And it's not just for the safety concerns. Like you mentioned, Kobe, what, what does NASCAR look like if this is a sport where we now know that that works. We now know that that gains you two, two and a half seconds, whatever it is. And on the final lap, even if there is no crossover gate, even if there are no safety concerns, and this is, theoretically a sport where you know it's 100 percent safe 100 percent of the time i know we're, we're absolutely never going to get there that always seems to be in the back of our minds but even if it were that if, if that were the case what kind of look is it if you have six cars doing that you know to try to gain four spots on the final lap and i, I mean it, it just i don't know it, it cannot happen again in my opinion it, it's something that nascar needed to come down on that we needed to say you know this is like the t-rex car that jeff gordon drove all those years ago that was super, super impressive and great. Good on you guys. Don't ever bring that car back here again. Don't ever ride the wall at Martinsville again. But to everybody in the comments sections, to everybody that dislike bombed the video, uh, turns out I'm not stupid. I actually know what I'm talking about. I called it. I told you this was going to happen. It has happened. And like I said, second greatest day in the history of Grid Network, as far as I'm concerned. Kobe, I'll turn it back over to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I will start off with a, this comment here from a, Dan Alive saying, "Do we really think we, we would see a bunch of cars <laughs> right, right the wall at Martinsville?" Well, well, Dan Alive, it, it, I, I believe you were in the chat room for that wrap-up show we had in the, in, the, in the fall after the after the Hell Melon, and when, when we were talking about how it would make how it would make as Ben you alluded to how it would make NASCAR look like. If Ross Chastain tried it, if NASCAR and Banda, what's going to stop somebody from trying it again this fall? You know, it's a 
that you know, it's a uh, you have two laps to go. You're in overtime. You know your season's on the line. <laughs> you're, you're in set. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna try to ride the wall and and, and do the hell mill and do what Ross Chastain did. But but now we're obviously not not not, not going to see that ever again at, at any track. And it was it was it was a good one one time thing that we that we can appreciate. <laughs> It was it was a really really great moment, probably one of the greatest moments that we've seen in NASCAR in in recent memory. Justin Marks actually sent out a tweet earlier this morning, uh, in light of this, and said, you know, with with how durable these next gen cars seem to be, ninety percent of the parts in that car are still usable, which means if we were to take this car and preserve it as a show car for the moment, it would cost Trackhouse hundreds of thousands of dollars. I think he said in the statement that's what they're going to do anyway because it was such a big moment for the team. But, you know, if, if that's the case, then, you know, yeah, day in my life. I think if, if the cars are that durable, if there wasn't that much damage after all, yeah, I think, I think you know, you, you talk about some drivers, you know, in a similar situation, especially if it's a playoff cutoff race again, you know, it, it's proven that it works now. And, and drivers see that, they pick up on that. You know, we saw it in the turn from the 2000s to the 2010s when, uh, you know, we, we had tandem drafting start to take off. By the time we got to 2011 in the Gen 5 cars, the car of tomorrow's, everybody was doing it. And you had to do it in order to keep up. So, you know, you, you wanted to avoid a situation like this with this move. I think, like I said, it, it was inevitable. A, a wall ride ban had to happen. And I applaud NASCAR for making it happen. Uh, our own Joe Samiego says the one positive I feel we saw the pure joy of victory from Trackhouse and not wrecking cars and fights after the race. Yes, I, I Again, you can acknowledge all this. It, it was a great moment uh, for, for everybody involved. It was track house and for Ross Chastain. And by the way, let me be unequivocally clear. This never was, is not, and never will be a criticism of Ross Chastain. All credit to him for thinking outside the box and making that move. But again, you can acknowledge that and also say, we probably don't need to be doing this again. So we'll, we'll just leave it at that. There 